welcome back. Well, this is the last lecture of array concept. In the previous lecture, we have seen how to sort an array using different ways. In today's lecture, we will be learning about array iteration methods. Let us quickly see the agenda. We will be learning the meaning of iteration, then a list of iteration methods, then each iteration method with example and explanation. At the end, you will be having an assignment. The iteration methods operate on every item of an array and mostly they perform a new function. These are the few important iteration methods which we are going to apply on the arrays. For each, map, filter, reduce, sum, every, for each. This method calls a function for each array element and displays each element on the console. You will get a better idea with an example. It takes three arguments, the item value, the item index, array itself. Item value is required, but item index and array are optional arguments. We will use two arguments just for clarity. Variable numbers equal to 15, 25, 30, 40. Numbers for each function value index. Console.log item comma index. Output 0, 15, 1, 25, 2, 30, 3, 40. Now what happens in the code is that for each method iterates through each element of the numbers array. We have given two arguments to the function. First is value and second is index of the value. Value. Representation of each item individually in the array. Index. Index of each item value in the array. And the function is passed to the for each method. So index and value displayed on the console. Map. The map method creates a new array by performing a function on each array element. This method does not execute the function for array elements without values. The map method does not change the original array. Let number equal to 1, 2, 3. Let multi equal to number dot map function item return item star 2 console dot log multi output 2 4 6 so here we have created an array with three values called number the function argument item represents each item in the array then we applied the map method to the function in which each item of the array is going to get multiplied by 2 the iteration each item is done and then get displayed on the console. Filter. Filter is going to take an array and check it against a certain condition and the array elements that will satisfy the condition they will get displayed. Let number equal to 1, 2, 3. Let even equal to number dot filter function item. Return item person 2 equal to 0 console.log even output 2. In this example, after creating an array, we applied filter method to the function in which there is a condition. The condition checks whether an item of array is even or not. We stored the result in a variable and displayed it. Only the items which satisfy the condition get displayed. It will create a brand new array. Reduce. This method allows us to produce a single value after applying to each array element. Let sum equal to 1, 2, 3. Let add equal to sum dot reduce function result comma item. Return result plus item 0. Console dot log add output 6. In this example, the operation result and the next item are going to get passed to the next iteration. So the zero at the end is going to be the initial result. Then it is going to get passed to the next iteration and the next item, which is one, is going to get added in the zero. And in the same way, we are going to get the single value, which is the sum of each element. Sum. Sum means does any of the items from the entire array meet the specific condition. Let negative number equal to 
1, 2, 3, minus 1, 4. Let result equal to negative num dot sum function item. Return item less than 0. Console dot log result. Output true. The result of sum is going to be true or false. Even if only one item of the array satisfies the condition, it will return true. In the above example, we have checked if any item from the array is negative. And yes, minus 1 is negative. So the result is going to be true. Every. This is similar to sum. Just every item from the array has to meet the condition in order to get the result as true. Let all positive equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Let result equal to all positive dot every function item return item greater than 0. Console dot log result output true. In the callback function, we are going to pass each item of the array and it is going to check whether the item is greater than 0, that is if it's positive or not. If every number is positive, the result is going to be true. The rule is either all or nothing. Find. Find method returns the array item which passes the function and it returns item. Let objects equal to id colon a, id colon b, id colon c. Let found equal to objects dot find function item return item dot id equal to b. Console dot log found output objects id colon b. In this code snippet, we have created an array with list of key value pairs. Then we are passing the item with the function to the find method. So it goes to through each item and finds if id equal to b. And if it finds it, it will return the item. If it does not find the item, then it will return undefined. So these are some ways to iterate through array items. Go through each example again and if you have any question or any doubt, write it down in the comment box. Well, here's a question for you. What would be the output of the following code? Let my array equal to 1, minus 2, 3, 4. Let result equal to my array dot every function item return item greater than 0 console.log result so solve this question and i'm sure you will be able to do it well that is it for today guys we will meet very soon in the next lecture till then stay safe bye